Hello everybody, my name is Hunter, and welcome back to Minecraft. Um, in the last video, we made this house. Um, it's kind of ugly looking, but it'll work for us for, for right now. As a starter house, I'm not too worried about how it looks. Um, so in this episode... We're gonna go on a little adventure. And by adventure, I mean we're gonna go look for diamonds. We're gonna go mining. And I'm gonna try and get as many diamonds as I can. I'm gonna need diamonds for full armor, full tools, enchantment table. You know, the whole, the whole nine. But first, before I do that, um, let me make a pickaxe before I go. Before I do that, I want to go over there and destroy my old shack. And bring everything else over here. Oops. If there is anything else to bring. But I'm gonna make sure I get rid of that little shack. And, um, I believe I still have a furnace and stuff over here. Furnaces over here. So we're gonna destroy this, and then I'm going to build a mine, and we're gonna go mine for diamonds, as you do in this game. Um, I feel like we're equipped to do this now. I'm a little bit more mentally prepared for this. And we're gonna start the adventure of... Um, building myself up to beat the game. Which is the end goal for me, I think. I want to try and beat the game, and then after that, probably fight the Wither and the Warden. If I can find the Warden. And then... That'll probably be it for the series, but... We still have a long way to go, so don't worry about anything going away. Um, I've got a long time before I even beat the game. So, alright, we gathered everything back. We're gonna put all this in the chest. I'm probably gonna make another pickaxe or two just to be safe. I'll put a furnace down here just so we have that. I'll put the coal in there a while. And put the rest of the stuff in here. Oh, also before I go. Actually. I'm going to build a farm first. Oops. So. Because I need some food before we leave. Um, let's find a good place to put a farm. Probably out back here, right? Maybe. I'm gonna probably break all this. Kind of clear this area into a flat. Look at that big old ravine. Um... So I'm thinking... I'm pretty sure we still have... Carrots, potatoes, wheat. Maybe not wheat because we turn it all into bread. But I'm pretty sure we still have carrots and potatoes. 
So I'm going to plant some carrots and potatoes. And probably wheat too. Let's see. Only a couple of potatoes, but we've got plenty of wheat seeds. We've got plenty of carrots. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to need a bucket. And we're going to dig out a farm. I think I'm going to have the farm go around the house. So from there and then up this way as well. Get rid of this grass. A little bit more seeds. I should have. Oh, I did keep the dirt. Okay. I'm trying to fill some of this in. Just to give me some more room out the back. kind of want this to look nice. I don't want it to look, you know, as much as I could be more efficient with this, I want it to look like a farm. So I'm going to leave a couple of spaces from the house and I guess I'll start it. I'll start the hole here. Do three, one, three. So then I want another one. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna go same distance on this side, and I'm gonna do it two other times. I'm gonna spread it out a couple. I can do something like this. What was that, three again? Do I even have enough space to do three again? Technically, yes. some water and then we'll get this thing flowing start from the end sploosh that in there we'll grab another one placement there. Okay. Let's run down. I always like this idea of infinite water in Minecraft. Glad they never got rid of it, even though I'm pretty sure it wasn't intentional. Um, well, I 
guess I don't want these to be... I want to leave a walkway here. But to lose my entire... My entire hoe. <laughs> Told you. It was just short too, of course. It's unfortunate. I'll build another one. Craft another one. And then we got a plane and everything. Perfect. I'm gonna go up to this end and do potatoes. And then I'm gonna go up to this end and do carrots. And then we're gonna have Nice little farm going. So we're out of food almost, which is going to be an issue. And I don't want to have to kill animals around me right now, even though I know I will have to eventually. I'm gonna try and survive on food, on on farmed food, just because it's a little bit more viable. Um, another thing I want to do is come talk to some of these villagers. I want to see what they have to trade, because they're gonna help me a lot eventually in beating the game you don't have anything interesting for me let's see what kind of villagers we're working with here I don't even see any of them right now I don't know where they all went no Strange. I'm really not sure where the rest of the villagers went. I don't see any. Is it really just those two? In this big old village? Looks like... Did they all die? Maybe they all died. Were they underneath here? And they might have been underneath here and died. Unfortunate. But we do have two villagers. Hopefully, they stay alive. Because we're gonna need them for. Trading with. They have some good trades that I would would want to get. But for now, I'm going to sleep again, and then I guess I'll prepare mine. That's the next step. And for the mine, I do want to leave a marker. put it because I want I don't want to lose the mine I want to make sure that I know where it is when I need to find it so I want to put like a little you know a little mine shaft entrance thing in the mine well on the mine I guess 
Um, I guess we'll start like down here at this lower point. And we're going to do two wide. And then on top here, I want to do kind of like this. Is this right? Yeah. Of course this creeper's gonna come up to me right when I'm trying to build something. Something like this. You could call it almost like an igloo. Yeah, something like that. Try to get this to look the same on both sides. I guess we can get rid of this. It's unnecessary. And this? No, we can't get rid of that. Never mind. If we can get rid of the outside part. That. Okay. Now we're good. Have it marked with torches. Now we can go down. Um, probably just gonna montage this. Um, a little bit of time lapsing. So, uh, I'll see you when I get down to the very bottom. We're looking to mine at Y negative, you know, 60 ish, which is. Well, you know, about 120 blocks downwards. So, it's going to be a while. So I'm going to time lapse some of this and then jump ahead to when I'm at the bottom. So I'll see you down there. Okay, uh, maybe not. Um... A little bit of cave. Just gonna try and move past it, block it off, act like it doesn't exist. Keep on moving. I think I just hit the skeleton spawner. Yeah, I did. Our old nemesis. But this time... I might be able to light it up just enough.
Mm-hmm. I conquered it this time. Still two left. Right. That was scary, but... Got it done. Go the zombie. I'm blocking this whole thing off. Making sure nobody gets over here. Alright, let's see what our loot is. Not much. Let's take the diamond horse armor. And cat. Nothing wrong with cat. Let's take the name tag too. It's kind of the most useful thing in there. A couple pieces of iron. Um, okay. Now the issue is I have to keep digging down in this direction. Which is the same direction that I don't want to go. So I've got to build some more stairs. To get myself down here. Hopefully we don't keep running into obstacles like this. This is kind of annoying. I'm just gonna cut this all off too. I want my mine shaft to be safe. Not dangerous like this. I'll keep this in here. Just as a memory of also a possible XP farm. Do have to build a step up though? Okay. Two back to full. Now let's keep digging. Back to the time lapse. Okay. Hmm. So we ran into another issue here. This one is a little bit more of an issue. Because we ran into a big cave with a big drop off. So now we're going to have to go all the way back up. And I'm going to have to get a bucket of water. We're going to go down there. Oh, I screwed this up. Oh boy. Okay. I fixed it. We're good. So we're gonna have to go all the way back up here. Grab a bucket of water. Go down there. And build a staircase up. Just so I can keep going back down. Let's try not to get killed by these skeletons. Let me sleep. Thank you. Plants are starting to grow. I should have plenty of stone. I'm going to... Build a... Or craft a shovel. And... Another pick. Hopefully we get some more food soon because... Really starting to run out. Hopefully this wheat starts to grow. 
I got a potato, looks like. I'm just gonna replant that though. Nice. So we got three extra potatoes out of that. Got a couple wheats that are almost done, but I'm just gonna let that all grow out, I think. Try and survive on what I've got. If I have to kill a couple pigs or cows or whatever, so be it, but we're gonna try and survive on these six pieces of bread. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna go down. This could get really sketchy really quick. Oh yeah. Definitely could get sketchy really, really quick. Um not a huge fan of this right now. I don't have the utilities for this to kill everything or to light this whole place up. Let's see if they follow me up here. Kind of prefer it if they did so I could just kill them. But I don't think they will. Hmm. This is going to be an issue. I could try and lava bucket them, but I don't think that's going to work either. Let's get off of that. Hey! That's what we came here for.